just like you folks i have been using windows all throughout my life now it was a very tough decision for me to switch over from windows to mac now these are the only two operating systems that are competing with each other at a very high level i have been using this laptop for more than a year and i think this is the right time that i can let you guys know if you can opt for the macbook pro and welcome back to our channel we analyze I wouldn't have switched over but after using the Mac for almost 2 weeks plus I think I've decided that I'm going to go ahead with the Mac and not with the Windows. Okay, so let's look at the display. This is the first thing that I actually loved about the Mac, uh, the display, the bright vibrant colors, it really impresses the eyes. Uh MacBook Pro comes in two variants as in two display variants. Uh one is a 13 inch and the other one is a 15 inch LED display and both of them have the Retina display with True Tone technology. Uh what True Tone technology is uh this adjusts the intensity of your display and the touch bar that you see uh just above the keyboard to match the ambient light so that uh the images on the screen actually looks more natural and looks good to the eyes. The the resolution supported by the MacBook Pro is 1920 by 1200 or 1680 by 1050, also 1020 by 800 and 1024 by 640, which helps you get better output when you're trying to edit or view a picture or even a video. It looks really pleasant and good to the eyes. Take a look at the processor. This is the next best thing that I love about the Mac is the speed and the performance that this device offers. And actually, it makes me wonder if I had the same config on a Windows PC, will that be able to perform as a Mac? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen that performance on a Windows machine. So this MacBook Pro comes in two variants again, to where you can choose uh, the processor that you want. Uh, one comes with an Intel Core i7, and the other one is i9. The one that I have is a 2.6 gigahertz 6 core Intel i7 processor which has a turbo boost which goes up to 4.1 gigahertz. This also comes with a 9 MB shared L3 cache. The other choice that you have is a 2.3 gigahertz 8 core Intel i9 processor which again comes up with a turbo boost which goes up to 4.3 gigahertz with a 16 MB of shared L3 cache. Let's take a look at the graphics. MacBook Pro is truly an eye-opening graphics performance device. Uh, this device runs on a Radeon Pro GPU, uh, which has a 4 GB of DDR5 memory and an automatic graphics switching Intel UHD Graphics 630 processor. This also gives you a choice where you can switch between this one that I just now mentioned or the Radeon Pro 560X, which comes in a combination of the Intel Core i9 processor. Now the graphics is definitely something you need to watch out for on the MacBook Pro and especially if you are a graphics designer if you work more on images editing or video editing this is going to be the ice uh, the icing on the cake Let's take a look at the RAM and the storage options we have for the MacBook Pro. As mentioned earlier, uh, MacBook Pro is a perfect combination of performance and speed and this is driven by 16 GB of 2400 megahertz of DDR4 onboard memory. and this again is expandable up to 32 gb when it comes to storage the 512 gb of ssd which is solid state drive uh, of internal storage makes the reading and writing of data faster and much reliable again you also have an option here where you can go up to 256 gb of storage and thanks to the ssd daily task like browsing emails whichever what you normally do as a daily task has been really smooth even the reading and writing of data on the ssd is done at a really high pace Let's take a look at the charging and the ports available on the MacBook Pro. Not only phones, uh, even the MacBook Pro has uh, moved over to the USB-C type charging ports. Now Apple calls these ports uh, Thunderbolt charging ports and it truly charges the device at lightning speeds. Now looking at how many ports we have, there are four USB-C type ports which you can use again for charging. You can connect it to an external display or even a LAN Ethernet connector or even use it as a Thunderbolt to connect USB devices. Now I would have loved if we had at least one USB 3.1 port uh, as not all devices or phones or cameras or monitors have moved up to the C type ports availability and this actually forces one to have uh, a C type to HDMI or maybe CTI to a VGA converter uh, 
But there's one thing that I liked about the device is it still retained the 3.5 mm headphone jack. So you can still connect a normal headphone if you want to go ahead, go on a call, maybe a Skype call or an Apple call. Uh, you still can use the 3.5 mm jack. Let's take a look at the keyboard and the trackpad that we get along with this MacBook Pro. Uh, the touch bar functionality and features personally took me by a storm. Uh, I can't think of having this on a Windows machine at all. Now the touch bar at the top of your keyboard adapts to what you're doing and gives you intuitive shortcuts and app controls when you need them which actually includes opening up a new tab if you are working on Google Chrome and if you're on an app that includes like let's say you're using you're typing something on a word or a notepad it actually pops up the emojis and if you're using Outlook or if you're composing an email it gives you an option to click on a button where you can click on directly opens up the compose email change formatting as in you can change it to bold italics underline etc so all all of this happens with that single touch bar that you have uh, the other thing that I love about this Mac is unlocking by using your finger touch now this sounds similar to like you do on the phone and yes it does work the same way the touch ID sensor is a fingerprint fingerprint based authentication system that you can use to unlock your Mac now it's an Apple based uh, built-in privacy system that you can use to either unlock your device and you can also use it to authorize if you are making any payments using the Apple pay now the, the fingerprint scanner actually has worked in all instances instantly unless you have a damp finger or you have a dirt that is there on the fingerprint sensor itself. Otherwise the unlocking is really fast. Let's take a look at uh, the wireless, the Bluetooth, the camera and other specs on this MacBook Pro. Uh, this device comes with a 720p FaceTime HD camera uh, which is on the front side and it actually works pretty well uh, while you're taking pictures or doing a video call. Uh, in terms of Wi-Fi, it comes with the regular 802.11 uh, Wi-Fi connectivity standards and also has a Bluetooth 5.0 audio part and how this device performs. Now the speakers are really class leading and in almost all the devices that are manufactured by Apple, the audio quality is really nice. Uh, they are perfectly actually placed uh, at the sides of the keyboard. Uh, if you look, uh, it's nice and broad. Uh, it's not too tiny as in the older version. Uh, the stereo speakers are really dynamic. Uh, the voice is really loud and it's really nice to hear on this MacBook Pro. Uh, when it compares, to, it provides you with a decent bass and excellent high and mid range too. Uh, there are actually three microphones on this device that actually helps you uh, with better audio quality and noise cancellation when you're doing uh, a video call or doing an audio call or doing a recording. It actually perfectly works well. Let's take a quick look at the battery and the power uh, for on the MacBook Pro. Uh, I'm really amused with the battery life of this device. Uh, this device comes with an 83.6 watt uh, lithium polymer battery and an 87 watt USB-C type power adapter that you can use to charge this device. Uh, on a full charge, uh, this device lasts for more than about 8 hours with constant usage and 60% of brightness. Okay, I think I've praised enough about the Mac uh, and it's time that we talk about what could have been better on the MacBook Pro. Uh, the first thing that strikes me when I talk about Apple or Mac is the price. Yes, uh, price is one of the very first concerns where uh, Apple can work something on getting the price a little within the mid-range uh, where we can, we can make it actually affordable and I believe this is the one key factor that Windows is preferred over Mac all over India. The next thing that I think we could have or Apple could have worked on is including the USB 3.1 port. At least one of the port could have been uh, the regular 3.1 port. This is definitely something that Apple needs to think about uh, including uh, either as a part of the hardware or at least have an accessories uh, provided with the Mac that can help you connect these kind of devices. Now even the accessories are priced a little bit high. Uh, 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 I'll include the accessories link from Amazon on this video's description. The other thing that I, uh, that I feel that Mac could have worked definitely on is the keyboard. Again, I'm not going back to the latest trends of uh, everybody complaining about the butterfly style keyboard of Mac. Uh, what I actually noticed about the keyboard is, uh, though it's really easy to type, I do not actually at times feel that the keys are being pressed because of the silicon membrane at the bottom of the keyboard. I do not always feel that the keys are being pressed. The next thing that I noticed about is the heating issue. Yes, the device does get pretty warm, uh, 
when you've actually continuously using it for hours together. Uh, but other than that, the, the device doesn't get really heated or doesn't get that hot that you can't operate at all. It does get a little warm, but that's actually absolutely normal. It's not that it's getting too hot and you can't operate the device at all. The other one thing that I, uh, is, as I mentioned earlier about accessories, I think uh, Mac can work on getting a few more accessories bundled along with the MacBook Pro itself, as in with the device itself, which will help the users uh, not buy extra accessories uh, when they want to use certain basic functionalities on their Mac. And it's a wrap for this video. And before I let you guys go, do remember to hit like, share and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, I think this is the right time that you can share this video with your friends who are with Windows and who would like to switch over to Mac or who are already with Mac and who would like to add some comments to our video, who would like to see something better, we are here for you. As the Mac slogan says, think different, look at the world through the door and not through the windows. I guess you've got my point now.